Last year, the WCC introduced its Hall of Honor. The Hall is meant to recognize the most groundbreaking athletes and influential figures in conference history. The 2010 class came together Saturday to celebrate their long successful careers and to give gratitude to those who have helped them achieve their accomplishments along the way. When Joe Etzel retired from Portland in 2004, he was the longest tenured athletic director in NCAA history. Over his 33-year career, the pilot athletic program grew from five athletic teams to 16 Division I teams. Gonzaga's Jeff Brown was named to the all-conference team in each of his three seasons as a Zag. In 1994, Brown led the WCC in scoring, led Gonzaga to their first WCC title and first ever postseason appearance. Bo Kimball was a prolific scorer on LMU's record-breaking squad in the early 90s. Kimball was a high school and college teammate of 2009 Hall of Honor inductee Hank Gathers. 20 years after Gathers' passing, the legacy of their Lions team is still remembered. I've traveled the world. I've been blessed to travel to about 40 countries. And I can tell you there's never a time that I travel abroad and, and uh, in the States that people don't come up to me and remember uh, the Loyola Mary my experience, remember Hank Gathers, the stats of both of us. And it's just an honor to be affiliated with, uh, with Hank Gathers. Dr. Gail Hopkins turned down offers from three Pac-10 schools, instead choosing Pepperdine where he could play baseball and study religion. He became the first Wave to reach the majors in 1968 when he played for the Chicago White Sox. Over seven seasons, he played first base for the Sox, Kansas City Royals, and the LA Dodgers. Brandy Chastain won two World Cup titles and two Olympic titles after graduating from Santa Clara. As a Bronco, she led her team to two Final Fours, she was a two-time All-American, and won multiple Player of the Year honors in 1990. She is best remembered for her emotional display after the U.S. won the World Cup in 1999. Emotions were once again running high during her induction speech, where Chastain honored and thanked her late parents. I've played many games in many countries under many different circumstances. And whether the crowd was 12 people or 95,000 people, I could always hear my mother's voice. Anya Somalinen was a two-time Conference Player of the Year who led the conference in scoring and assists for three consecutive seasons. She also excelled in the classroom, earning WCC Scholar Athlete of the Year in 1991. In 1999, Zuzana Lesanarova became the first NCAA Division I champion in USD history. She won 37 career Grand Slam events and was a three-time conference player of the year. Bob Sinclair was an offensive tack on USF's undefeated 1951 team. He played 11 seasons for the 49ers, nine of which he was All-Pro. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990. But one of his greatest honors is having a field named after him. I played in high school there, I played in college there, and I played the 49ers there, 189 games in that one stadium. And it's just amazing to me that they named it after me, and I'm still alive. <laughs> the inductees graciously thanked their families and mentors, and weren't afraid to poke fun at their fellow honorees. So if you wouldn't mind lining up against me, Bob, um, I'd like to take you on, because I wanted to sack the quarterback, and if you think you still got game, I'm ready to do it right here. Brandy's a tough act to follow. I'm not going to take my shirt off, so. Come on. <laughs> for Lindsay Joy, I'm Phil Benavides for WCC-TV.